it's it's all about like I don't know what comes first, like the idea of doing it or the idea for the song, or whatever. But it's basically those people that we don't know. Miguel is the boxer. He's like a big fan of us, mm -hmm. and, and he's like working out to our music. And he was visiting some shows, and he was like, "Hey, you should write me a song. So like, Just ask, you know, and we'll do it." And then it came down to actually asking, and we wrote it. Uh, and then you know, it was actually our idea. It's like. Let's let's save that shouting until he actually visited us in the studio. Mm -hmm. So let's 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 fuck a little bit. We, it wasn't planned. So it's like, come on, we got something you got to do. And he was like, so he was singing on his own song. I think he thought that was pretty weird. Um, and uh, in the others were just like you know, playing festivals and go, go and see bands and like hanging out in a catering area or something and like having a talk and like seemed like. Uh, talking a little bit about it, hey man, we got some ideas. Do you do you think you would mind joining us? Yeah, just you know, just send me the song and I'll check it out. And they're like, so so people seem to be pretty open-minded uh, about it. So it's basically just asking, but you know, having to, you know, we we normally meet people. It's not like we just give some somebody a, a call and it's like you know, we've never met before. Yeah, but that, that was actually one of the ideas, you know, because people were complaining, especially on the last album, nah, it's not metal enough, it's not like this, it's not like that, oh, they've gone like this. And so when, when we hooked up with, with Barney and he said, sure, I'll do it, you know, he was like, yes, now you got your metal track, so shut up, or whatever, you know. But <laughs> we knew that a lot of the critics would definitely not get it. They wouldn't like it, and sure enough, they hated the track, most of them, especially in Denmark. I'm, I don't know about Finland, but we thought it was great fun. He thought it was great fun, and it seems like... A it's a great song. It's a great live song. Yeah. It's like, you know... It's just fun for us. We were like smiling all over the place when when he was in the studio, and he's a nice guy, uh, totally. So it's it's just it's just a cool thing. And then of course there's this whole thing about you, especially you and Michael, who've been following oh, yeah. albums since the very beginning. You know. Yeah, so for us, it's like it's it's like you bring your idol into the studio and onto your record. You know, and then that's. Uh, that's different, and then actually in the writing process, it's like you got it, and you you know, this could be cool to have Barney singing this, you know. So you write it kind of for him, uh, which uh, challenges you to write different stuff than you normally would, because I don't think Volbeat would normally write a song like that. We maybe in the beginning, but but nowadays probably not, you know. So that's true. You had you had to make a song that would fit his voice. I mean. There's no way he could have fitted on a song like Heaven or Hell, but that wouldn't have been right. So of course the song was written with with his voice in mind. Yeah. That's and then it's just it's just great because there's so there's a lot of people who actually yeah said Fallen is Fallen is on the radio, Garden's Tale is on the radio, Sam and Stone, everything is like oh happy radio friendly music, you know. Mm. But it's just great then when people buy the album that you know it still scares somebody. It's like. Oh, you know, and and the critics, some are like, oh, that song destroys the whole album. It's like, yeah, you know, we actually did something that kind of like that challenged the listeners, and like, so that people actually, some love it, some hate it. So it's not just everybody clapping their hands and say, yeah, great album, but but you're you're out there where it's a little bit dangerous still. I think that's 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 fun. So how do you do that live show? Like I saw yesterday when you, you borrowed the singer of Anton. Yeah. No, oh, he's we persuaded him actually. He said, Hey, would you do it? You're gonna get another bottle of booze if you wanna sing. Yeah. <laughs> you got a bottle, free bottle of booze. Yeah, it's easy with the Swedish. You yeah. Know. That was easy. Um, <laughs> no, it was just we thought about who who could do it because Michael won't do it. He could do it but he won't do it. So we said, Okay, who's who's gonna sing this? And he said, Hey, let's bring the singer from Entombed out. So, yeah, okay, why not? And he was. We asked him to do it, and I think he said yes at some point when he was weak or something. Because he was, especially the first night in Malmo, Sweden, he was so scared. He was literally shaking behind the stage because he's just received the CD. He hadn't, he didn't know the words or anything. He was really, really scared. But he's, it's definitely getting better. And, he seems and it's to, fun. Yeah. It's like you, you know, you can s s see it on him. He's like, he's having a great time. We're having a great time playing the song, and it's. 
it's been and you know whenever the song starts everybody in, in the crowd seems to be like yeah, yeah. so it's something people are waiting for but unfortunately you know we can't do it. when we're talking festivals it's like I said Michael don't want to do it so and I can't for sure so it's like what are we gonna do uh, so, you don't know yet. so we're probably not gonna play it on festivals hopefully we'll run into Nepal oh yeah that would be nice down the road that would be great The mid price category. Mid price category, bargain sales, yard sales, uh, doing dance clubs, maybe. Oh, we're, we're gonna play on that ferry from, from Sweden to Finland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. uh, we, we don't know. It's like, you know, the band started out a little, yeah, about 10 years ago, and I said people, people didn't know what would happen at that point and we don't know now we don't even know what's going to happen next year we're like in the starting to plan next year but we don't know and it, of course it seems to, we seem to be doing pretty good and I don't think it'll go downhill like all of a sudden right now but we never know you know it could be bigger it could be smaller it could be the same level maybe it's over who knows and you know we never know if you know we also got to write a new album at one point Moved, you know, if we don't manage to write a good enough album, it's like you know, you're never better than your last album. So, if you write a shitty album, you're out. And uh, if you can't get the songs together and not even do the album, then you're definitely out, you know. So, so only time can tell <laughs> where we go from here. But it's like you know, it, it can be bigger, you know, it, but it can also sit, it can also go, go downhill a little bit. We just try to enjoy what we got right now. We are on a great tour, and like, yeah, people go to the shows, and yeah, yeah, we wake up every day, so it's good. Cool. <laughs>